Sunday on the Monterey Peninsula, final round of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Daniel Berger, solid finish here a season ago and attacking on the par five second at Pebble Beach Golf Links as he makes the eagle uphill, drains it from 21 feet. He would get a share of the lead. Maverick McNeely looking for birdie at seven. As a teenager, he played here at Pebble Beach, dreaming of one day winning on the PGA Tour. He makes that to get to 12 under par. Nate Lashley also in the mix. Bogeyed his last two holes on Saturday to fall back, but here he was on the charge. Tee shot at seven, and look at it work. Right next to the pin, almost went in for an ace, but he would birdie, getting to 14 under par. Lashley, not done though, looking for his second tour win, working the par four ninth from 16 feet, and he drains that, getting the solo lead at 15 under par. So Lashley, thinking about that next nine and what it will take to win. Daniel Berger doing the same thing, the short par four tenth, pin cut to the back, and he chases it all the way from about 50 yards away to seven feet, makes the birdie and grabs a share of the lead. Now our 54-hole leader was Jordan Speed. He fell back early, but trying to claw his way back in. This at 10, and from 46 yards to four feet, he would make the birdie getting to 14 under. Lashley now at 11, playing in that last group. Second shot, asking for it to be good from 120 yards to inches from the cup, almost two hole outs today. They were both tap in birdies. He would have the solo lead. Maverick McNeely at 13, 26 footer. That one's in. He gets to 14 under. Trying to stay in this late on Sunday. Daniel Berger, 15 under as he works 14. Just shy of 100 yards with a wedge. Using the top of the green on the par five. Pulls it back to about four feet and he would make the birdie grabbing a share. Now at 18, Maverick McNeely. This for Eagle just misses. McNeely would tap in for birdie, a 21 footer. He would grab a share of the lead at 16 under par. And he would wait and watch. Daniel Berger arriving at 18. Similar position, on and two, looking for an eagle to fall. And Daniel Berger settles it with one stroke, an eagle putt to win it. And I am here with our winner, Daniel Berger. You were just watching yourself, especially Barry, that eagle on 18. Where does that putt rank in terms of clutch performances in your career? Uh, probably right up there at the top. I don't <laughs> think I've, that was the best putt I've ever hit in my life. So, yeah. You know, it's funny. I remember you winning at Colonial, and I asked you, where's your game at? And you said, it's the best it's ever been. I'm going to ask you that again now. Is it even better than it, it was last year? It's definitely better <laughs> now. You know, I've, I've worked so hard in the last, you know, six, seven months to get to where I'm at. So it's just nice to see the results come. I mean, take a look at this scorecard, and you had two Eagles a day, three on the week here at Pebble Beach. This is the place your team was always telling you, Daniel, put it on the schedule, put it on the schedule. What was it about it that you decided, okay, this is something I'm going to go tee up and, and go get after it? Well, I mean, anytime you, you play Pebble Beach, it's not hard to see why it's such a special place. And uh, I feel like it frees me up. You know, when you're walking around, you just kind of take in the sights, and golf kind of comes second. And, and that's where uh, I've seen be playing my best golf. So it's definitely going to be on my schedule for many, many years. This is also a place that takes a lot of patience. You're rarely going to play bogey free, mistake free golf here. But what was it like coming down the stretch knowing, did you know how tight the leaderboard was, and especially the grouping that you were paired with? Yeah, I mean, obviously Patrick played really well. And, uh, you know, I knew that if I hung in there long enough that, uh, you know, the birdies were going to come. And, and then I hit, you know, probably the best three would I've ever hit in my life on the 18th green. And, and rolled in the putt, so uh, it's, uh, it's pretty special. You know, this is the second time that Brooks Kepka, a fellow Seminole, has won, and then you have gone on to win the next week. Is there something in the air here with that Florida State golf team that's just making magic right now in the PGA Tour? I don't know. I mean, Brooks, <laughs> is uh, he's an incredible golfer, and uh, I'm just trying to do my best to catch up to as many wins as he has. Well, four, four wins. You are well on your way, Daniel Berger. Congratulations on an incredible performance. Go fall in another bunker. That was my favorite part of your day. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. <laughs>
That's a heavy trophy. <laughs> Does come it does come off. Yeah, the glue on there. Um, you can put it on the camera. I'll have you stand on this side. Okay.